Welcome back, I'm Jay, we got Steve behind the camera. This is the Heads Up Show, and today, Steve, we've got something brand new that we're talking about. Dude, what is that? So we have a local uh, customer that came by, wanted to bring by the helmet, watches the show, has been buying stuff from us for a long time now. His name's Scott, great guy. And he has been basically creating these. And he said, hey, here's my Todd Gurley. We just, you know, first one I've ever done. Do you want to give it a shot and put it together in a video? I'm like, yeah, let's, let's show the world what these things are all about. It's a combination between uh, the helmet that Todd Gurley wore at Georgia and the one that he wears now with the Rams. Yeah, we've seen it all from some really great gallery pieces to some just $5 budget spray paint stuff. This is obviously one of the most unique yep. ones, but upon further inspection, it's pretty damn good. Yeah, it's pretty legit. Everything is stenciled on here and airbrushed on here, which makes it really, really nice. Um, it's a, got a great clear coat finish to it. And, you know, take a look at this stuff back here. This is all, you know, really nice. They got some nice shadowing in here. And I'll say, are there better uh, airbrushing paint jobs out there? Absolutely. But, uh, you know, anybody who's looked into airbrushing, yeah. it, it's an artistry that could easily get up to $2,500, $3,000, $4,000 some of these guys charged to, to really do some of these high-end airbrush jobs. But for, for what this is, I'm going to guess, he didn't tell me what the, it costs for this, but I'm going to guess just the paint job alone is going to be somewhere in the $600, oh, okay. Ma maybe $800. I don't, I don't know, Steve. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but let's go ahead and put this thing together. If you have a bunch of helmets on your shelf and mm -hmm. you want to freshen them up with maybe some new styles, new masks, new visors, new chin straps, Call us up, send us your helmet, send us photos, and we can help you get exactly what it is that you want to do. In this case, he brought the helmet by, and we yep. are grateful he did. <laughs> yeah, he's local to us, so he can just swing by. Yeah. But we have had other people, if you've watched our videos, we've had colleges send us uh, helmets before. We just did uh, the dinos up in Calgary. That one came out great. It's on the back wall, I think over my shoulder here somewhere. Yep. And you know, we love doing it. Um, we love getting our hands on these things. You know, it's, it's a sickness. It's a lot of fun. And this thing, he, he really did a nice job. The, the colors are right on, the dog bones in the back, awesome. And everyone, those are not decals. So it's all painted no, on there. this is all, I'll try and kind of yeah. see that there's nothing decals going on here. So what we have is we've got a dog's, this is the dog's um, decal. And we're gonna put a dog's 3D bumper right on top of this here. Uh, the face mask that Gurley wears is the S2BD, kind of the old school model. One of my favorites. And, you know, it's got a nice classic look to it, you know. And you know, we're, you know, we've got artistic license to tweak some things here and there. And Scott told us, he's like, yeah, do what you want. Uh, we, I, he trusts us. Jay, I know you have pretty much ice in your veins, but does it bother you or do you get nervous at all doing that to somebody else's piece or do you just kind of... Well, Steve, until <laughs> you just mentioned it, I had put zero <laughs> thought into it whatsoever. Yeah. So I guess the answer is no. Sorry, man. Maybe I should. <laughs> right. Get a little concerned that I might break something or screw something up. Don't on a rear 3D bumper? Is that what's happening? Or? Yeah, so he doesn't know it yet, but when he gets this back, he's going to come by and pick this up later on, and uh -huh. hopefully he will be appreciative of the upgrades. I know he will be. I mean, we've got the NFL flag here, so these go... I'm going to kind of stick this more, make sure it's on the Rams part of the helmet here. Uh, smart. So it'll be a little bit on the horn, so it's not exactly where they wear it. We're going to go sans warning decal, and then we're going to use a embossed tech U.S. flag decal. Give this thing a nice polish here. There she is. Should I put this on my head? What do you think? I think you have to. Yeah. I didn't check the size. Let's find out real quick here whether or not it fits or not. Hopefully it's a large. That's badass. And here we go. It's great. Here we go. Absolutely great. Oh, I like that side better. Yeah. Which side? This side? Yeah. Dude. Right side. 
What a great looking helmet. Good for him, man. Super clever. We always love to see what our audience comes up with. This one caught me by surprise. Maybe one of the best ones that somebody has brought by. Yeah, for sure. Certainly one of the most unique. So leave a comment below. Whose helmet design do you want to see down here? Do you want to see, say, a Tom Brady, Michigan Patriots, Baker Mayfield, Oklahoma Browns? Which would you like to see? Maybe he'll do one of those. I think this guy is going to be headed off to get Gurley's autograph on it because he collects them, puts them up on his wall. I think he uses helmet hangers. Uh, maybe we should do a shoot from his man cave. Nice. Yes. Anyway. Hope you like this one. Leave your comments below. Let us know how you like this guy. Go check out greengridiron.com if you want to get some of these components to upgrade your helmets. And like, subscribe, click the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.